Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an explosive barrel actually explode in the engine. So what we're going to have by the end of this is something that looks a little like this. So you have the barrel there, you shoot it and it explodes. So you have the explosion noise, the explosion visual effect and the actor is destroyed afterwards. So it's not there at all. And we have multiple of these. So we can just place them wherever we want and do it multiple times. Just drag and drop it in like so. So let's get started. I'm just going to delete all of these and then show you how to do it. So what you're going to want to do first is go into your blueprints folder. So you go from content, first person BP or third, blueprints, and then you're going to want to create a new blueprint actor. So you right click, go to blueprint class, go on actor, and then call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this explosive barrel BP. And then let's open this up and then let's go back into the viewport, go to our contents, our static mesh, or just wherever your explosive barrel is. So select that, go back into the blueprint we just made, and then go add component, static mesh, and it should be there, static mesh, explosive barrel, or if it's not there, just get a static mesh and put it in down here. Then once you've done that, we're gonna to want to go on add component and get in a box collision. So this is when the bullet enters this box collision, that's when it's gonna explode. So you get this and then just scale it up or down to the right size for you so it fits perfectly around your barrel. So I'm just gonna press space at all between those and just do this. I think that'll be good for me. Again, you can make it a tighter fit if you want, if this is gonna be an actual game. But just for the tutorial purposes, this will be fine. And then let's go to the event graph and off event actor begin overlap. Go off there and cast to your bullet projectile, mine being first person projectile and then hook the object of that into the other actor of the event, like so. And off this, we're gonna to want to do play sound at location and then spawn emitter at location. And then after that, just destroy actor, like so. And for the location of these, let's add first person projectile, get actor location, like so, and then hook these values up into the location values there. And now for the sound and the visual effects, I'm gonna be using the ones provided in the starter content. So if you don't have those, go down to add new, add feature or content pack, go to the content packs, start content. So I'm just gonna go find those. So that'll be content, start content. I'll do the audio first, so go into audio. And then we're gonna to want to use the explosion cue rather than just the explosion. So let's click on the explosion cue. And actually I'm just gonna drag it in, see if I wanna modify it at all. So this will be the area in which the player can hear the explosion and this will be where it fades out. So out of this outer rig you can't hear it at all. Inside this it's quieter, in here it's the full volume. So I think that's good for now. So I'll just select the explosion cue, go back into the blueprint, and then on place sound at location, hit this arrow here, and it's got explosion cue, like so. And then let's go to the visual effects. So go back to start content, then particles, and I'm just gonna use explosion. So select that, go back to the blueprint, hit this arrow, and now we have those all set up. And now that should be it done. So let's hit compile, close this, press play to test it. Oh wait, no, let's put some in. So just drag some in like so. However many you want, wherever you want, doesn't matter. Place them in, press play, and if we shoot them, they should explode with the sound effect, the visual effect, and then disappear afterwards. So there we go, that's perfect. Like so. And you can still shoot everything else, works perfectly. So let's just close this, open again. And if we go further away and shoot it, then we should be able to see that we hear it a lot quieter from over here. Yeah, we can't hear it at all from over there. So if we try again, a bit closer. It's quieter. And there we go, if we go right here, it'll be the loudest, like so. So there we go, that works perfectly. I think that'll be it for this video as I've got it to do everything I wanted it to do. We have the barrel that we can just put in as many times as we want and when you shoot it, it will explode with the audio and visual effect and then disappear afterwards. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped. And if it did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.